Hey guys and welcome back to Bristol Daily Homes. Ryan here. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I'm obviously today, Monday, it looks like it's an extended weekend for most with the snowstorm that we've have. Um, obviously this is not necessarily weather that's very conducive to showing houses, but um, without a doubt I'm still going to bring you the most up-to-date listings. Today we've got six in Bristow. The first one is 9302 Alvin Lake Circle. It's a townhome interior unit located in the Pembroke section of Victory Lakes. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths. It's brick and siding. It's uh, 2,300 total square feet, so it's a good sized townhome. Standard sale, 349,000. It was built in 2011. Um, we'll go through some of the pictures here. It does have that detached two-car garage, which you see here in this picture, which walks through to like the courtyard, little courtyard area in between the house itself and the garage. Uh, so a nice size two-car garage. There's the entryway to the home. Looks like that's an area rug. I'm trying to look at the floors. Granite countertops, huge center island there. Uh, as you can see, there's the bar stools that you can pull up and eat inside the kitchen. Looks like stainless appliances. Some uh, mid-grade cabinets. Looks like hardwood floors pretty much throughout there. I'd say the pictures aren't doing the best job of showcasing this house. Looks like there's a lot of furniture inside. Um, so it's, it's tough to get you know a real good idea of the size of these rooms. Even though it's 2,300 square feet, it doesn't look like 2,300 square feet because the furniture is so big. Um, and here's the backyard. Uh, 349,000 for this type of square footage is probably about in the range. It's probably anywhere from you know that 335 to 350 range for that square footage for a house that's only three years young. Something to keep on the radar. 13457 Colesmere Gateway. This is a townhome in Kingsbrook. Standard sale 285,000. Three bedrooms, two full baths. Um, this looks like it was a renovated home, as, or somewhat renovated anyway. Hardwood floors, stainless appliances. Um, I can't tell what the countertops are there. can't tell if that's just a Formica or if that's some sort of Corian or something. It doesn't show in a listing. Hardwood floors throughout here. 1,800 total square feet. Um, you know, homes, townhomes in this price range, vaulted ceilings in a master bedroom, have been selling anywhere in that 270 to 290 range. Um, so obviously this has been renovated somewhat with ceramic tile and the baths, kitchen's been updated somewhat. Um, so overall, you know, you're getting a decent sized townhome for under 290000 I'm not necessarily blown away by this home um, because I think that there are plenty of other options at this price point, but it does show well on the inside. 13010 Bath Gateway. This is located in the Braemar subdivision. Three bedrooms, three full baths, and one half bath. 299,900 with 2,070 total square feet. Um, these homes, this is an in unit, so this is nice because you do get the windows that are on the side of the home because these are piggyback townhomes. They back up to another set of townhomes behind there, so you don't have a backyard. Uh, many people don't like that, uh, but it does come with a two car garage, um, as you can see here. Brick and siding on the front. Nice open floor plan. It looks like Brazilian cherry flooring in there. Um, let's see here. This is the kitchen area. It looks like uh, Corian countertops and maple cabinets, 42 inch cabinets, some stainless steel appliances. Very clean. And see, as you can see, there's that side light coming in from the side of that house. Most of these homes, they don't have those windows on the side of the home. It very, can be very dark feeling. But this in unit is actually going to um, be nice and bright, open and airy versus a lot of the other models over there. As you can see, there's some wind the window that, that's on the side that lets in that light. And the entrance to the home, the door is on the side of the house. Some people like that. Some people don't. But overall, you're getting some decent square footage here with over 2,000 total square feet with a two-car garage. Um, and this is in the very desirable neighborhood of Braemar. HOA fee is $132 a month, which includes the basic cable and internet included in there. It, it does also mention that there's a newer AC unit on this home as well. Um, I do like this home at the price point, great location, um, and I think that uh, under $300,000 it will probably sell quick. 8994 Benchmark Lane. This is located in the Kingsbrook subdivision. In unit townhome as well. 309,000. Three bedrooms, three and a half baths, 2,413 square feet. So it's one of the larger townhomes um, that you're going to see. Um, and at that price point, it, I think that, you know, based upon the square footage, I think that it's priced right in the range of where it should be. It's a little bit older, built in 2001. As you can see here, it looks like um, I don't see a deck or patio out back there. Um, here's the interior, looks like some carpet, 
basic kitchen doesn't look like that that's really been updated I would expect at this price point that you know things would be updated a little bit more than what they are in this home um, but the square footage in unit you know that you're getting here um, I think that it's worth a look even if you have to do some minor upgrades a lot of people do like to have these in unit townhomes great subdivision of Kingsbrook might be a touch high on the price 11914 Bristow Village Boulevard this is located in the new Bristow Village subdivision Detached home, almost on a quarter acre lot, which is a good size lot for this neighborhood. Most of the lots are very tiny and narrow, but this has a front-loading two-car garage, uh, 5,320 square feet, five bedrooms, four and a half baths, 3,820 square feet on the main two levels, nice front porch on the front as well. I think it's got some good curb appeal here. This is um, the Princeton model. Uh, looks like it was built by Syntex Homes. We'll go through some of the pictures. Look, a lot of moldings throughout. Nice cherry hardwood floors there. It looks like that those are granite countertops in there. Black appliances, some carpet, tray ceiling in a master bedroom. Some wall. This is, looks like it's the uh, theater room downstairs in the basement. Not too many pictures to actually work off of here. Uh, but at this square footage, I think 540,000 is a fair price. Good size lot over there. It was built in 2010, so it's four years young. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, it's worth at least getting a further look at this home. 167 Twin Leaf Drive. This is a new build located in the new, uh, Avondale subdivision. Sorry. This is the new carriage series home. It's a Norwood that features a two car detached car garage. Drawback here. It's only three bedrooms and it's two and a half baths. So I almost treat these detached homes as almost a town home feel because you're not getting but three bedrooms. Uh, the square footage is 1,700 square feet, so it's relatively small. And as you can see at this price point, 409,999, you can get townhomes that I've just reviewed in the in, you know low 300s for that type of uh, square footage. But if you want to buy brand new, if you want to have all the options that you want to, uh, built into this home, and it could be a good option for you, this one looks like it's already been complete and the basement is unfinished. Um, granite countertops come in this one with stainless appliances. Standard builder grade home here. Um, the lot is just over an eighth of an acre, so relatively small. Um, but with that being said, you are getting brand new, and some people prefer that. Always remember when you're going over these subdivisions to be represented by a you know a licensed agent, somebody that can represent your best interests. Um, the builders, uh, obviously the salespeople there, they represent the builder, and it costs you nothing to have uh, a, a professional real estate agent represent you when you go over there to review contracts and find out more about the models, the options, and everything that comes along with buying a new home. So we've got a, quite a bit to review today. Obviously, it's going to be difficult to get out to show houses, but if you'd like to schedule an appointment for sometime later this week, give us a shout, 703-596-0011. Enjoy the snow um, and enjoy the family time. Talk to you guys tomorrow.